Hello there again, FairBinaryOptions.com. We are continuing with the second part of our of our projects here on Binary Options Academy, in the sense that we discussed the implications of the two to four trend. Basically, what it is an impulsive move according to the Elliott Waves theory, and this impulsive move, how to interpret it, if it is completed or not. Because if it is completed then we want to go and trade after a bullish impulsive move we want to trade put options with an expiration date that it is in accordance with the time frame that the analysis is being made on or if it's not completed actually we're looking for a fake move and then we want to trade of course uh, in the opposite direction we said that the 2 to 4 trend line needs to be drawn and if you, after you draw the 2 to 4 trend line you simply look at the structure of the fifth day. If the move that follows is not breaking the 2 to 4 trend line in less than the time of the fifth way, then it means that the impulsive move is not completed. The classical example can be done in here. For example, in here. Let's assume that the market starts, market starts, from, starts from here. And we count the wave. Then we said, okay, the whole move, the first move to the downside is the first wave of the impulsive move. One. Excellent. Then we have the second wave here let's say we have the second wave in here then we have the third wave all the way to the downside in here the third wave and then we have the fourth wave and then we have the fifth wave correct? now at this very moment if we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we okay, one may say ok it is a 5 wave structure I'm interested in buying call options here because if the 5 wave structure is completed then market is supposed to move to the upside while market indeed is moving to the upside here uh, we, were, we, sh we were supposed to look here for something like A, B, C to the upside so correction A, B, C something like this this is only by random why? because of a simple concept the 2 to 4 trend line if you take the 2 to 4 trend line from here to here and you project it and you see at the break of the 2 to 4 trend line take a look at the time the fifth wave took four candles but the break is way bigger than that it implies that the impulsive move or the impulsive move in this arrangement is not completed either the third wave is not done yet either the fifth wave is not done yet and actually by the time the 2 to 4 trend line is broken basically here we are interested in trading put options and not call options because implications are that a greater move low is going to come so take a look in here what was the move and the reaction of the market so while trading in here is randomly trading in here is not random at all if anything market goes and forms a contracting triangle in here and by the time it breaks this B2D trend line we should engage into going and trading even more aggressive put options and so on and so on and so on until at least market breaks the lows in the previous fifth wave these are the implications of small tips and tricks when you trade with valued waves and a small trend line can make you feel more, more comfortable um, when you analyze them or these markets with Elliott Waves theory if the concept is simple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 corrected with ABC but if you don't have confirmation that the ABC is about to come then the safest thing to do is to stick with the original plan and to stick with the original direction namely to the downside so put options on now again as for the expiration date look at the time frame that the, uh, that the, uh, that the market is forming the, the pattern for example if you trade put options at this very moment at this very moment then go with end of day maybe it will be it will expire out of the mind but then seeing this failure to make some makes a high then a lower high then a lower high and then breaks the B2D trend line seeing that it can only imply that the market is going to aggressively uh, move to the downside and aggressively you are um, investing some more or increasing the size of your investment Thank you very much for being here again. This is FairBinaryOptions.com. All these analysis that you see, all these projects that you see, uh, video analysis that you see, 
posted on the YouTube can be found on our projects on the website. So just go on fairbinaryoptions.com and under the Binary Options Academy section you will have an 800 words text explaining this concept plus this video analysis to help. Thank you and have a great day.